1200 meters and they're sprinting away from the 1200 bit of jostling mid division there castle keep look to take out luna raider and secrets told in the pink silks a bit of jostling early on Falco towards the outside and Bermuda Breeze now on the money and running. Picks up the gallop on the stand side. Bermuda Breeze down the inside forward zones there. Blue sleeves and cap. Secrets told in the pink silks. Falco gets a scrub or two's racing four lengths off them. Trip Kings to the stand side. Black cap. Further back is Golden Matador. Then comes Castle Keep. Beloved Trick is six, seven lengths off them. Bermuda Breeze is splitting the breeze and travels hard up against the outside by two. Trip Kings follows him through. Forward zone to the inside. Falco's under a punishing ride to the inside. Three lengths to make up. At this stage, Bermuda Breeze looking to go all the way. Trip Kings is now looking to come forward. Falco on the inside and forward zone. Bermuda Breeze, how much left in the tank at the 200 because Trip Kings now becomes the danger. But Bermuda Breeze looking to repel all challenges the last bird. Trip Kings still a length away and Bermuda Breeze today's his payday Bermuda Breeze won it Trip King second Falco did really well to stay on for third then Golden Matador and Castle Keep Falco is getting worked upon from about the 800 meter mark Bermuda Breeze, it was just a matter of when he was going to break the maiden, and today's his day, written by Billy Jacobson for the Frank Robinson stable. He'd been third, second, and now into the winner's box. He jumped out the machine, he had the gate speed, and he led them all a merry dance. He's a horse who's got a lot of ability, he has some respiratory noises, he had a couple of wind ops and one or two other issues with his breathing, but today he stays on, he wins at a length and a half. Trip Kings was the main danger, could not get past him, and as for Falco, did well to stay on for third. He was a beaten horse from the 800. Golden Matador, Castle Keep, and Forward Zone behind these. But Bermuda Breeze gets it lucky. 12th attempt. Further back, Secrets told Beloved Trick. So Bermuda Breeze, he had the gate speed, he had the winning formula today, hot up against the outside for a stride or two. Trip Kings looks to come forward and it's just a matter if Bermuda Breeze is going to throw in the towel. Throw in the towel, he does not today. He continues to gallop and he shows them a clean pair of heels as they go to the post. Trip Kings is coming out second best. Falco, driven for all he was worth from about the 7 800 he'll stay on well in the closing stages, well for a place for the PAs that is, as we hand you back to the studio. Oh, we've just seen the running of race number five over 1,200 meters and number two. Bermuda Breeze has come through to win it. Well done to the Volsoms here. Uh, Bodu and uh, Thompson and, of course, Billy Jacobson for trainer Frank Robinson. Uh, nice win here from Bermuda Breeze and good pace, good speed, and he kept on well. Yes, uh, thanks, Deeds. Frank gave me good instructions, jump him out, let him use himself, and he kept rolling, just sit past the 400, and that's what he did. Uh, gutsy win. It was nice. It looked that way, you know, where the other guys look to be scrubbing behind you and he seems to be doing it well. Yes, I was, I was traveling so easily and going through the motions just so easily, taking it, uh, just doing basically pace work and it all worked out for us. Nice ride here, Billy. You like anything else later on? You've got some nice rides left? Yes, I do. I've got some nice rides for Frank. Uh, we're trying on everything, so. Which, which could be your next best? Uh, the horse in the eighth race. Um, Frodiana. Frodiana, yes. Thanks for that, Billy. Thanks. Uh, just a big thanks to Frank and um, all his owners and the whole team there. And this one's for my family upstairs. Well done. Getting chances, Billy Jacobson, and taking it with both hands. Well, you've given Billy a chance here. Frank, uh, he's, he's a jock that does all the hard work, and you seem to be putting him in a few of your horses. Yeah, look, uh, Billy's been putting the work in, and uh, I think he's a bit of an underrated rider, like quite a few of them, you know, as long as they work hard and they get the chances, they'll also deliver, you know. They, it's hard, you know, for these guys, but, you know, if they put the work in, they, and the chances will come. Just having a look at uh, your horses when you bring them to the track, the string's looking good, Frank. Yeah, I'm very happy with the string at the moment. They're healthy, there's no coughing, and they're fit, so no, they, they're doing well. Your, your juvenile ran well earlier on, a, a touch unlucky in the running? Yeah, he was the fish of the one, you know, just that's how it goes first time it can go like that, you know, so look, he won't be long in winning, I'm sure.
Now the Volsums and the, the other boys, they, they've always liked the sauce. I remember he came with a bit of a reputation when he started off his career. Yeah, look, I've no doubt if he didn't have a wind up, he'd be a three, four time winner by now. He's got a lot of ability. But funny enough, since I put a tongue on him, Phil, his last three runs have been very good, you know, they've been much more consistent. So I thought he'd have a chance today. I said to Billy, you know, don't, don't restrict him, you know, let him stride along so he can keep breathing. And he won well, so I hope he goes on from here. Just having a look at the, the balance of your runners, Frank? Yeah, I, I thought the best two was him and Fridiana, I must be honest. I thought those were my best for the day, and I thought the baby had a chance, but you never know. Fridiana, lightly raced, but she's well? Very well. She's got a lot of ability, and I'm, I'm hoping that she can deliver today. Well done. Thanks very much. Well done. Now, representing the Volsums, good mates of mine, and uh, you guys waited long for this horse. Hey, we did. We did these. We did. Uh, we can just thank Frank and the guys for being patient. The guys are not all here. When he's injured yes. on his leg, I don't know where's Anthony, he must be business, but we really appreciate this when we waited a long time and he spent a lot of money on injuries on this horse. I see Mike came dressed up for the occasion. Yeah. Come here, Mike. Come Mike, come have a chat, come have a chat, come have a chat. Yeah. Have a chat. But well done, give, give my best to Wendy and Ants and I, the other boys. I will. Okay. Mike, you, you came dressed up for the occasion. I saw you at, at the bottom there and I said something must be happening. Yeah, we just want to thank Frank and... Uh, and uh, Jockey Jacobson for a good ride. I mean, they had a, a lot of problems with this horse, but I'm happy for Wendy and, and the rest of the boys. Did the boys have a tickle in or shy? I think the boys had a small tickle. What, what? We, had, we had to get, we recoup some of our money. Yeah, this horse has cost you in the past, huh? A lot of money. <laughs> well, Mike, enjoy it. Thanks, man. Well done to all the boys here, Wendy, Anthony, Mike, and all the other guys. Number two, Bermuda Breeze has come through to win it. Two, six, one, and three. Your provisional result, race number five.